this is Animat, and welcome back to the Muppet Vlog. Now, this time, we're going to be looking into the 15th episode of The Muppet Show, which includes Candace Bergen. Now, I'm sure that some of you are not really familiar with Candace Bergen. She is actually a multi-award winning star on television. Well, she has also appeared in movies, but... Her true fame is actually on television, considering that she did win five Emmys and two Golden Globes for being the star of Murphy Brown. She is also nominated for Best Actress in a Supporting Role for Starting Over, and she has also been featured not only in movies and TV shows, but also on Broadway. So, she has definitely proven herself to be a very, very prominent actress. And, uh, honestly, with the episode, there is only one way to describe the whole thing. Cute. Cute episode. Uh, but it's actually pretty interesting, considering that it's nothing too situational. There's no real story into this. It's mostly just a series of gags over and over again. But, um, the good thing to say about it is that they definitely are funny. They definitely are effective. Uh, the one big thing that's been continuously going on during that episode is that there's this running gag where Fozzie Bear would come in and he, like, he wants to pull this little, like, uh, prank slash running gag, basically, where he would go see Kermit and ask for, like, a letter or a note or something like that. And it's always, like, something else. Like, if Fozzie would go and ask Kermit, uh, if he would like a letter, he would just hand him the letter R or some, like, somewhere around that line. So, it definitely was cute, and just, like, the reactions of Fozzie when he would just, like, pull the prank on Kermit, it's actually kind of funny. And, like, you do laugh along with Fozzie, so it definitely was enjoyable on that end. But also, the musical numbers on that episode, it definitely was a lot of fun as well. Uh, like, when it starts out with Miss Piggy's number with What Now My Love, it's actually pretty funny to see, especially... When Miss Piggy is very adamant to start off the episode, like, she wants to have the opening act. But then, like, at the end, like, what we end up seeing is that she has to sing with a bunch of, like, little Muppet guys that actually turn out to be monsters. So, like, we see the slow progression to see them get nasty and stuff. So, you know, I guess, I don't know if it's, like, some kind of... Uh, just desserts for Miss Piggy or something, but I feel like there must be something in there where Kermit did it on purpose. It's either he doesn't want Miss Piggy to do the opening act for her safety, or like he, he's just there. It's like, okay, you know what? Screw it. We're just gonna add these guys in. All right, have fun with your opening number, Miss Piggy. I hope you do enjoy it. You do deserve it. I don't know, but either way, like, um, it, it is curious to know about Kermit's intentions with that opening bit. Uh, but there are also some other great musical numbers as well. Um, when we had Rolf come in, and uh, the song apparently is called It's Not Where You Start, It's Where You Finish, where he had to do it multiple times and even do it faster. That was definitely enjoyable, and it was a lot of fun. And of course, uh, another fun moment that we got is actually with the Swedish chef trying out like this really spicy curry and... Sometimes he's not as satisfactory with his curry. He he wants it really spicy and stuff like that. So you can imagine how it can unfurl from there. Actually, you don't because sometimes with the Muppets, it's really unexpected. Uh, no, but seriously, it's the Swedish Chef. So like, definitely check out that bit. It is a lot of fun. Uh, but if there is one thing that I will say that if there is a bit of criticism to this episode is honestly i'm surprised how little they actually use candace bergen to be honest they don't i i honestly feel like they don't use her as prominently as the other guest stars because whenever she would appear on screen or stuff like that she would mostly just be there she's not really singing the song or anything she's just being a part of the act she's treat i feel like she is treated more as an extra muppet than an actual guest star because when she would appear with put another log on the fire or that face she's kind of used as an extra she's not the prominent singer it's always like another extra muppet rather it be like this big country husband muppet or uh an artist pretty much in uh, in an art class looking like examining everybody's art piece like candace would just be like the wife or she would be the model um, honestly, I do feel like it, it's kind of weird how 
the special guest isn't as prominently used because honestly, she, like Candace Bergen is a pretty good singer. She did sing at the end with "You've Got to, You Got to Have Friends," but honestly, like that ending musical number, uh, I honestly feel like it's not really that properly organized. Like it's it's mostly like your standard at ending where you just see uh, like all the Muppets get together and they sing, but you got to have friends. But, like, honestly, it doesn't feel as organized because it does happen when Candace would just talk in the middle. It's like, somewhere out of nowhere, she would stop singing. It's like, you see, it is important to have friends. It's like, yeah, we get it, but, like, can you just focus on the song? Uh, that as well as, um, you know, like, I'm surprised, like, she can't, like, she's already proven that she can sing. But I'm surprised they didn't use her as much. Like, I, I suppose, like, they want to use her more as the comedian because uh, there are also other bits as well, like the talk spot with Kermit uh, talking about her, uh, her photography side. And then there's also, like, when she played a character during the press and questions. So, I don't know, like, mostly they want to use her as a comedian, but I'm not saying that these musical, like, these moments with Candace Bergen are bad. Um, well, with the exception, maybe with the ending of You've Gotta Have Friends, like, they are pretty good numbers themselves. Like, put another log on a fire, it's kind of a funny, like, girl's rule type of, uh, bit, where pretty much she's been abused, and also, like, if you know the song of Put Another Log on a Fire, it's just, like, this guy asking his wife to do all these different things, so, like, you can pretty much understand, like, the woman's position in there. Yeah, like, basically, put another log on the fire is kind of like the Meninist national anthem, in a way. Uh, but also, the, the, that face bit is actually, you know, that's another amusing one, seeing all the Muppets pain and stuff like that, so... It, it, like, that one is more prominently featured for the Muppets than it is for Candace Bergen. So, I would say that overall, it definitely is a good episode. It definitely is cute. Uh, a lot of, like, all the musical, like, all the moments in there are actually fun. They are enjoyable. They are funny. So, it definitely is more of your standard good episode. But, I'm pretty surprised that they didn't use the special guest as much as the others, per se. They don't prominently present her. Maybe, like, maybe I'm not more, I'm not really familiar with Candace Bergen. Maybe that's how she is more portrayed, more, more as an actress and a comedian than also as a singer, because it does make sense that in, that in the previous episode, they do bring in people who are more known for their musical talents, more so than just being an actor. But, uh, I, I don't know, I just don't feel like they use the special guest as much as they should. It's like, she, like, I feel like they just treat Candace Bergen like she is put on the sidelines more so than be the prominent special guest. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. But anyways, that's pretty much it for this episode. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see how things go with the next episode on The Muppet Show. So until next time, see you later, dudes.